Strangest Last Meal Requests on Death Row Hello and welcome to our amazing channel where we dive deep into the most bizarre and quirky parts of the criminal justice system. Today we're going to serve up a juicy dish as we take a closer look at the final meal requests of death row inmates right before they meet their maker. Yep, you heard that right. We're about to unravel the mystery behind what these notorious criminals chose to chow down on as their very last meal on this planet. Was it a succulent steak or maybe a pizza with every topping imaginable? Or did they opt for something a little more unusual like a bucket of fried chicken or a bag of Skittles? You will be amazed as we explore the final culinary cravings of some of the world's most infamous criminals. So grab a snack, sit back, and get ready for an unforgettable ride into the fascinating world of the criminal justice system. But wait! Before we dive deep into the tantalizing world of the weirdest final meal requests on death row, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on because you definitely don't want to miss a single episode of our culinary journey. We're all about bringing you the most exciting foodie adventures, so why not join us and become a part of our culinary community? Alright, now that you're all set, let's get down to business and explore the most bizarre final meal requests made by death row inmates. Trust us, this is going to be a wild ride. The strangest last meal requests made by death row inmates. As you all know, before execution, the inmates are granted the opportunity to choose a final meal of their liking. Some go for classic comfort food while others take a more extravagant or unusual route. We've done some digging and have found some truly bizarre last meal requests. From a single olive with the pit still in it to an entire pint of mint chocolate chip ice cream. And who could forget the notorious criminal who asked for a single unpitted cherry reportedly as a symbolic gesture to show that he still has some fight left in him. But it's just not about the food. These last meal requests also offer a unique glimpse into the minds and personalities of these infamous criminals. Let's dive into the world of death row inmates' last meal requests and see what we can uncover. John Wayne Gacy's Final Meal Gacy, also known as the Killer Clown, was convicted of murdering 33 young men and boys in the 1970s. As his execution date approached, Gacy was given the opportunity to choose his last meal. And what did he request? a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken, a dozen fried shrimp, french fries, and a pound of strawberries. It's hard to imagine that someone with such a dark past would request such a seemingly ordinary meal, but perhaps that's the point. In his final moments, Gacy may have been seeking comfort in the familiar tastes of his childhood. Or maybe he was just trying to indulge in his favorite foods one last time before his inevitable fate. Regardless of the reasoning behind his last meal request, it's a haunting reminder of the atrocities that Gacy committed and the lives he took. And it's also a reminder that even the most infamous criminals are still human, with cravings and desires like anyone else. Ricky Ray Rector's Final Meal Rector was a convicted murderer and sentenced to death in 1982. As his execution date approached, he was offered the chance to choose his last meal. Rector requested a hearty meal of steak, fried chicken, and cherry Kool-Aid with a slice of pecan pie for dessert. However, something unusual happened during Rector's final meal. He reportedly ate the steak and chicken, but when it came time for dessert, he saved the slice of pecan pie, saying he was saving it for later. Unfortunately, Rector never got to eat the pie as he was executed shortly after. This bizarre behavior has led to speculation about Rector's mental state and the effects of being on death row. Some have suggested that Rector's actions were a sign of his cognitive decline, while others argue that it was a form of protest against his impending execution. Whatever the reason behind Rector's last meal request and his refusal to eat the pie, it remains a poignant reminder of the complex emotions and experiences of those on death row. Timothy McVeigh's Final Meal McVeigh was convicted and sentenced to death for his role in the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. As his execution date approached, he was given the opportunity to choose his final meal. His request? Two pints of mint chocolate chip ice cream. This might seem like an unusual choice, but it turns out that McVeigh had a particular reason for requesting this dessert. In an interview with a journalist, he explained that he had chosen mint chocolate chip ice cream as a tribute to one of his childhood memories. Apparently, he had enjoyed this flavor of ice cream with his father as a child, and he wanted to evoke those memories in his final moments. 
Of course, McVeigh's last meal request is still controversial given the horrific nature of his crimes. Some have argued that he shouldn't have been allowed to choose his last meal at all, while others have criticized the prison system for allowing him to indulge in a sweet treat before his execution. Whatever your thoughts on the matter, there's no denying that McVeigh's choice of mint chocolate chip ice cream adds an interesting layer of complexity to the already intriguing world of last meal requests. Victor Fager's Final Meal Fager was convicted of kidnapping and murder in 1960 and was sentenced to death. As his execution date approached, he was asked to choose his final meal. His request? A single olive with the pit still in it. But this wasn't just any ordinary olive. According to Fager, he hoped that by leaving the pit intact, an olive tree would eventually grow from his remains. It's a strange and unusual request to be sure, but it speaks to the powerful human desire for life and renewal even in the face of death. Interestingly, Fager's request was not fulfilled exactly as he had hoped. The prison staff did give him a single olive, but the pit had been removed. Nonetheless, Fager's story has become part of the lore of last meal requests, and his desire to leave something behind even in death is both poignant and haunting. Ted Bundy's Final Meal Ah, the infamous Ted Bundy. You might be surprised to know that this notorious serial killer did something quite unexpected before his execution. Instead of indulging in a final feast, Bundy declined a special meal altogether, claiming that he wasn't hungry. It's not every day that we hear of someone declining their final meal feast, especially in a situation where they know that they will not live to see another day. So why did Bundy choose to refuse his last meal? There are a few possible explanations. Some people believe that he was trying to maintain some degree of control over his own life, even in his final moments. Others speculate that he was trying to appear stoic and emotionless or that he simply didn't want to waste his final hours on Earth with the discomfort of a full stomach. Regardless of the reason, Bundy's refusal to partake in the traditional last meal is a fascinating detail in the story of one of the most infamous serial killers in American history. Philip Workman's Final Meal Philip Workman, a death row inmate, had an unusual request for his last meal, a vegetarian pizza. But that's not all. He also asked for the pizza to be donated to a homeless person in the area. Workman was such a staunch advocate for animal rights and believed the importance of helping those in need even in his final moments. Unfortunately, prison officials denied his request, citing security concerns. But the story doesn't end there. Workman's request sparked a movement that inspired people around the world to donate pizzas to homeless shelters in his honor. To this day, his legacy lives on as a symbol of compassion and kindness. It's amazing to think that a simple last meal request could have such a powerful impact on the world. What do you think about Workman's request and the response it inspired? Let us know in the comments below. Let's not forget that the individuals on death row who made these last meal requests were still human beings. They were facing their final moments and had the right to choose what they wanted to eat as their final meal. While some of the requests may have been strange or even comical, we should remember that each request represented a person with their own life story, experiences, and emotions. It's a reminder that even those who have committed heinous crimes are still individuals with their own unique personalities and quirks. Ultimately, these last meal requests humanize the individuals and offer a glimpse into their final moments, reminding us of the gravity and complexity of the criminal justice system. Sum up. So these are some of the most bizarre and intriguing last meal requests on death row. But don't let that be the end of your culinary journey. There are countless other interesting food stories out there waiting to be explored. And remember, food is not only about satisfying our hunger, but it can also be a reflection of our cultures, beliefs, and even our personalities. It's important to respect the final wishes of these individuals regardless of their past actions. So, next time you enjoy a meal, take a moment to appreciate the diversity and complexity of the food world. Thank you for joining us on this journey and we look forward to sharing many more delicious and thought-provoking stories with you in the future. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all of our upcoming foodie adventures.